days since the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was enacted, became the law of the land, and we're very encouraged with the results that we're already seeing. When I was home in the state of Washington, I <coughs> heard from individuals, I heard from businesses that have already made decisions around that law. The Inland Northwest Bank, which is headquartered in Spokane, announced that for their 200 entry-level workers, they would be giving them a $1,000 bonus. Alaska Airlines, which is head headquartered in Seattle, had, had has announced a $1,000 bonus to its 22,000 employees. And I've, and I've spoken with many others that are talking about breaking the, down those walls, opening up more space, and creating jobs. And it isn't just happening in Eastern Washington. It's happening all across the country. Because of tax reform, more than a million Americans have already received a bonus. Because of tax reform, there's a growing list of companies that are boosting investment here at home, creating jobs, giving employees a pay raise. And because of tax reform, many more Americans in February will see an increase in their take-home pay. Peace of mind, more jobs, bigger paychecks, fairer taxes. These are real, tangible results that we promise to the American people. And in 2018, we're going to continue focusing on those priorities that will make our economy boom. I'm so excited about what this year will bring. Uh, we've invited Congressman Brad Winstrup to join us today. He's a doctor from Cincinnati, Ohio, a former small business owner. He was key in the passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Bill and uh, has been promoting what it means for jobs and economic growth to southern Ohio. Just think about an average family of four in his district will see a tax cut of 2470 we're also focused on bills this week to protect the homeland and bolster our efforts to stop terrorist attacks uh, uh, here and abroad. And, and Dr. Winstrup is a colonel in the Army Reserve. He's on the House Intelligence Committee and really glad to have him here to help explain what all this means in keeping America yes, safe and free. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, Chairman Brady and Speaker Ryan for carrying the torch this past year, and actually longer than just this past year, in reforming our tax process and bringing us into the 21st century with that, similar to what Jack Kemp and Ronald Reagan did in the last century. As far as the tax relief that we've uh, brought to America, I've seen immediate results at home. Fifth Third Bank in, in my district, located in Cincinnati, has now offered bonuses and increased wages, and that's happened immediately. And while I was home over the break, it was nice to be out and about and have so many people come up and say, thank you, thank you for what you all did to help us out here at home. It's also an important week for us as far as national security goes. I'm pleased that our Intelligence Committee and Judiciary Committee have, have come together and found a way forward uh, to proceed with our foreign intelligence process. Uh, the bill that we have this week, the 702 bill, it puts pressure on our enemies abroad and it keeps Americans safe here at home, and all the while respecting Americans' right to privacy, doing that at the same time. You know, I served in Iraq for a year, and every day we received daily foreign intelligence reports that pertained to our theater of operation, the things that we had going on around us. It guided us. It gave us the way forward to form our strategies, to prepare for what was coming ahead, and it led to our successes, and it saved American lives. It's important that we keep this going on behalf of American lives, not only abroad, but here at home. Thank you. It's always great to see Brad Winstrup. Uh, appreciate his leadership <laughs> and his friendship, and uh, really appreciate his medical skills. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I know I'm glad to be back. It's a uh, happy new year to everybody. Uh, it's an exciting year. It's going to be, uh, I think, a real exciting time for our country. Uh, it's great to see just how successful the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is already uh, being an impact and a positive way on families. Uh, I know we started the day that President Trump uh, had us all to the White House to celebrate the passage of the bill. Uh, that morning, AT&T announced that they're going to give $1,000 bonuses to more than 200,000 workers. And what a great Christmas gift that was to, uh, to somebody who's maybe laying fiber optic cable and uh, can, you know, was able to maybe give extra Christmas presents to their kids or plan a family vacation. Uh, what I did is reached out to a lot of little businesses. And what I found was we are already seeing 
uh, local businesses in southeast Louisiana following suit, giving bonuses to their employees, giving pay raises to their employees. So during the break, I toured a couple of those small businesses and uh, went to Blessing Marine, a uh, family-owned business, I think over 900 employees, and they put over a million and a half dollars of new investment into their workers uh, through pay raises and bonuses because of this Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And then I went and saw a really small but growing company called Gnarly Barley, a local brewery in Hammond, Louisiana, a six-person operation. And uh, it's a husband and wife who met in college, started a local brewery, and they're growing, but they weren't able to afford uh, health care benefits for their employees. And because of this Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, they're now not only able to provide health care benefits to their employees, but they're also setting up a 401k program. And they're starting to increase production, and they're going to be hiring more people this year, all because of this bill. Uh, so we started uh, getting and capturing a list of all of those companies uh, that are doing this across the country. Uh, we are, we're now over 100 companies on majoritywhip.gov, so you can go to our website, majoritywhip.gov, and see a list of all the companies, and it grows every day. Yesterday, Visa got added to the list, uh, giving extra 401k benefits to their employees. So it's exciting to see this bill working. Uh, when we were at Camp Dave this weekend with President Trump, we talked about a lot of things that we want to do this year to build on those successes and to keep our economy moving and create more jobs. And Trump, uh, President Trump is just laser focused on uh, continuing to make sure we don't rest on our laurels, that we actually uh, keep growing the economy and keep helping uh, create more opportunities for families to become a part of the American dream. So it's exciting to be part of that. Um, I, I think some of you may know by now, uh, part of my ongoing recovery, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be having another surgery that was planned uh, over a month ago, so we're going to have a surgery tomorrow uh, as a continued part of my recovery. So I know I've gotten a lot of prayers that have gotten me to this point over the uh, over the last seven months, and appreciate those prayers continuing. So uh, look forward to getting this done and getting back to work. I'll be in touch with my staff uh, and, and our uh, chief deputy, uh, Patrick McHenry, through this process, and hope to be back in the coming weeks uh, working on this great agenda that we're excited about. Happy New Year. It's, uh, we're going to continue to keep Steve in our prayers, and um, we know he'll be back very quickly. He continues to work as uh, every step he's there. 2017 ended with the start of America's comeback. You had VA reform. You had the regulatory reform. You had the Dow Jones every day, almost numerous times, setting new records. And uh, then we had tax reform. It, when we were at uh, Camp David, we talked about what could 2018 be. It's completing America's comeback. When you think about it and you look at what has gone forward, do you remember just a short time ago when the minority leader Nancy Pelosi said the tax cut and jobs bill was Armageddon? More than a million Americans got more than $900 million in bonuses. It's not just the money that starting this year people will have more in their paycheck when they go home. Look at what we've now heard with Baltimore Gas and Electric. They're taking $82 million they got from the tax savings bill, and they're lowering their rates. So now the electrical bills will become a little lower for those Americans, especially in this cold weather. And what did we find in this bitter cold winter? That uh, yesterday, ComEd Company, Illinois' largest electri electric utility, announced they're passing on $200 million in tax savings to their customers. There's things that put America back on the right track, but we have more to do. We have unemployment at a 17-year low, so we've got to get more people into the workforce with job training and others. We have an opioid epidemic going across America to solve. We have an infrastructure challenge, so we're going to continue to build on the success of 2017 to make sure 2018 becomes the final part of America's comeback. Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy Welcome back. Year. Happy New Year. Uh, it's always great to be home uh, in the holidays uh, to celebrate uh, with my family back in Wisconsin. Badgers won the Orange Bowl. Um, somebody told me that it was it was colder one day in Wisconsin than it was on Mars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it's pretty 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 good. You must have right. So, um, but I got to tell you, what was exciting about being home for the holidays um, is just people getting, just stopping us wherever Jen and I would go. Um, in restaurants, in the street, at, at ball games, about the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, how it's helping them, how it's helping their families, how it's helping the businesses they work at or the businesses that they own. Um, the numbers, I, they're really impressive. Uh, in just a few short weeks, as Kevin mentioned, corporations have announced over $1 billion in bonuses 
and more than 1.5 billion reinvested in the U.S. economy. One company said 50 billion over five years reinvestment in America, which is going to help their workers, which is going to help them expand. The numbers don't even include what smaller companies are doing and how folks will be helped by the individual tax rate cut, what they see when their paychecks get bigger this year. Um, the stories we hear are just countless. Steve mentioned a couple of them. I can talk about some butchers and everybody else in between. Uh, there are people who are just coming up to us saying, this is working, I'm getting bigger paychecks, I got a bonus, or I'm expanding my small business, I'm going to hire more people. So that is exciting. Tax reform is boosting the economy, it's creating jobs, it is raising wages. In other words, it is actually helping people, that's why we are here. It's renewed optimism. It's, it's telling people that this economy is here to grow. So that's what's exciting. Um, this is why we're here. But we're not going to stop there. Uh, as we kick off a new session, we want to build on this optimism. And we want to make sure that we get more done for the American people. We've got a lot of our, on our agenda. We talked about these things at Camp David. And the, one of the things that we know we achieved with regulatory relief and historic tax reform is we're getting the economy growing faster. But there are tens of millions of Americans who are still slipping through the cracks. There are a lot of people in this country that aren't being counted in those unemployment statistics. We have got to pull them off the sidelines and get them back in the game. We've got more work to do to work on people getting them the skills they need so they can get the careers they want, so they can get the lives that they deserve. That's what the promise of this economy and this country offers. And so that is going to be one of our big focuses this year, is making sure that we close that skills gap, close that opportunity gap, and get people off the sidelines and back in the game so that they can make uh, the American dream for themselves as they define it. That's something we're really excited about. We're also going to be focusing on our military. Uh, you've heard us talk about this over and over again. Brad Wench and others here on, on armed services uh, can give you chapter and verse on how dire the need is to improve our military, improve their readiness, give our warfighters the, the resources they need, the training resources they need. That is one of the things we've run on our Better Way agenda. That is going to be one of our primary focuses this year is getting the men and women in the military the resources that they need and getting General Mattis the budget he needs to begin the, the hard work of rebuilding our military. So that's something you're going to see us do, and that's something that we're working with our friends in the House and the Senate on a bipartisan basis. We've got a lot to do this year. We're excited about the work. We've got more work and more successes to build on, and, and that's why we're excited about coming back for a great 2018. Questions? We're having conversations. Uh, I already know where you're going. So. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I'm not going to negotiate with the media on such things. Um, what we want to do is have a, have a, a we want to have DACA compromise. We want to make sure that DACA, the DACA problem is solved. But as you've heard me say time and again, this has to be balanced so that we don't have a DACA problem five, ten years down the road. So while we deal with this DACA issue, which does need to be dealt with, and we agree with that. We want to make sure that we have the right kind of interior and border enforcement so that we don't have another DACA problem down the road.